Hello kindred spirits and welcome to my spiritual oasis. Here weary souls come to find inner wisdom and peace. Today I'm going to be doing a deck review for the Hedge Witch Botanical Oracle by Ciolo Thompson. I want to start off by saying that I absolutely love this deck. I use this deck so much. I'm going to have links to readings where I've used this deck. I use it so much in like 87% of my readings. It's such a good versatile deck. So we're going to go ahead and dive right into the review. There will be a full flip through of the whole deck as well during this review and I will try to keep everything succinct and keep all of my energy contained so I can keep the video under 10 minutes. Okay, here we go. So again, um, this is the Hedge Witch Botanical Oracle review by Cielo Thompson. So it's a very nice sturdy box with a magnetic flap that your cards come in. So very well made box to protect your cards. And you open it up you have a really lovely image here of a botanical and then you're introduced to your field guide which is the guidebook of course for this deck i like that they call it a field guide i think that's really cute and right on par with this idea of you know documenting botanicals and things like that so i do find the guidebook very very helpful it's a full color um guidebook here what I really wanted to kind of focus on was to take a look at the actual. So this is an entry for Bear Berry, which is the first card. They're they're alphabetized by the name of the um, by the name of the botanical, and then their keyword is the primary focus of the cards as well as in the book as well. But so the keyword for Bear Berry is strength. And they give a nice description in here about, you know, what, you know, history about the plant. Like, what's the common name of the plant? Where is it originally located in the world? It talks about the uses for the plant um, historically and just provides a lot of just really good information about the botanical. And then it goes into the um, oracle properties of the botanical so for this particular one strength is the botanical property and it just goes into kind of what that the meaning of that is and um, also provides any connection to tarot or other um, spiritual energies to help put it in perspective so for this particular one the queen of pentacles is mentioned as um, one of the connective energies for this particular um this particular botanical card so that they do that for all of them and again it's full color pictures for all of them so i really love the way the guidebook is organized i feel like it provides a lot of really great information for you if you want to consult the book so right under the book is the card so it's you know there's a little tab here for you to pull your cards out of it's a 40 card deck Move that off to the side so they are you know medium size I think they're a good size they're about tarot size as far as the height of them they're a little bit wider I want to say tarot compared to other tarot decks I really love the simplicity of how the graphics are represented so the botanicals themselves are like this kind of hand-drawn like field sketch you know like the field guide sort of sketch like sketch of the um botanical and then just selective locations for color and i love that just on a plain white background i really enjoy the simplicity of that then we have the name down here the scientific name and then the um the guiding word for the card so i like this because i feel like they can stand alone with that keyword and the name of the botanical often i'll just use these cards without the guidebook um, but i feel like they also can stand alone and you know, they can um, stand alone in their own reading but i use them a lot as supportive um, to support a larger reading they also offer visual relief um 
because of like kind of all of the white simple sort of graphics when they're in a bigger spread with other cards um, they actually provide visual relief in my humble opinion <laughs> um, to the spread because of kind of all the white and it's not a whole there's not a whole bunch of color there I feel like the simplicity of the artwork also it's like detailed though but it's still simple I feel like it it allows you to take a moment and kind of contemplate on the meaning and the words and um, kind of dig deeper a little bit and some of the meanings in your mind rather than focusing so much on the graphics which I think is also nice. Though I typically use these cards in the larger spreads to support um, like a larger reading and I use their keywords often as like guiding energy for different readings and stuff like that or like a primary focal card or focal point for a reading. I feel like they could also stand by themselves as well. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of messages deep dive messages, especially when you're able to consult the field guidebook um, that come through with just the card by themselves. It's, it can be like a daily pull sort of energy as well. Um, the reason why I got this deck actually was to get more familiar with botanicals and flowers and um, herbs and other such items and elements. Um, I use it, yeah, for education for me. So that's why I really, really appreciated the guidebook. It's so informative. So they are in alphabetical order, and I had to re-put them in alphabetical order. So I hope I did that successfully for the flip through. I love the subtle color. It's so beautiful. Lovely. So that's all 40 cards. And as far as shuffling goes, I, I feel like they shuffle pretty well. I'm a pretty aggressive shuffler. So, um, you know, the cards actually hold up. I feel like the card stack is pretty secure. Some of the edges are a little, you can't even see it that well, but I can see it. They're a little struggly a little bit on the edges, but I'm, an, I'm a pretty aggressive shuffler. I think they're solid. They're good made cards and they have like a sheen to them. Typically the sheen is okay, it's not too much, um, but sometimes in some situations it can be um, a little bit much depending on your lighting situation. So you can see like you can get some, you can get some pretty good uh, glare sometimes. Um, I feel like they're pretty good for holding in your hands. They don't slide around too much for shuffling, um, depending on how you shuffle. And these are the backs of the cards. I don't think I talked about them. Pretty on point. Can do inverts, like they're made so that you can read reversals if you so choose to do that. But I just, I love them. Um, if I had to change anything about the deck, and I do this for all my deck reviews, first of all, I want to say that I think that this deck is amazing. <laughs> and I love the way it is now, and I wouldn't necessarily change anything about it. But if I did change anything about it, it would basically be just to add more keywords down at the bottom. I'm a word person. Some people are probably like, there's enough words on this page already, and that's perfectly fine. But for me personally, I wouldn't mind a couple of additional keywords to go down um, the bottom under the main word in like a smaller font similar to the text above. Just, you know, three more words or something to kind of help me. That's personally for me. <laughs> but I definitely feel like these cards are perfectly fine by themselves. They work well in a spread with other cards as well as um, stand alone by themselves and the guidebook is very helpful. So these are the thoughts that I had on the Hedge Witch Botanical Oracle deck by Cielo Thompson. I hope this review was helpful for you. If it was, make sure to drop a comment and let me know down below. Click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not already. Like my Facebook page, connect with me there on Facebook. Um, if you're so inclined to do that and check out my Etsy shop where I curate content there to help you on your spiritual and life journey. 
So thank you so much, beautiful soul, for spending time with me today, and I will see you in an upcoming reading. Bye.